Good morning, everybody. It may look like I'm a little dressed up for barn work, and you'd be right. <clears throat> I am a little bit late feeding this morning because just the craziness of the world. Um, part of my reason in starting this YouTube channel had to do with retirement. Um, my husband and I are um, not quite yet of retirement age, but we are both quite eager to to retire. And um, I just wanted to t talk a little bit about, and I'm sorry if this is really kind of, the sound isn't great on this because of, I'm just getting started. But I just kind of wanted to get on here and share a little bit of, frustration, but then also hope. Um, this is, you know, seasoned equestrians. It's a work day. Um, usually, I'm out here at about 5 a.m. getting horses fed um, before dark. No, while it's still dark. And then I'm off to work. I work Monday through Fridays, officially from eight to five. But the kind of work that I do really does um, require me to be available outside of those business hours. So, why I'm frustrated right now is, you know, I made my first video and I had my first day of exercising, Ruby, and I've not had a chance to do anything since then just because work has been so demanding. And when I get home, I'm just exhausted. Um, so she's finished her EPM treatment. She's ready to she's ready to get back to work. She's doing great. Um, but yeah, so the retirement piece, just what I'm dealing with right now, is making retirement or at least leaving work and pursuing what I want to do with my grown-up years a little bit more of a reasonable thing to do because. I work in the court system, and on Thursday, I was COVID exposed in a courtroom in one county. On Friday, I was in a courtroom in another county, and we learned of, ha of myself and, and my attorney having been COVID exposed. And what that means is that, um, because I'm not vaccinated, and I have chosen not to get vaccinated, um, I am having to quarantine for 10 days until I get a negative non-rapid cut test back that can't be taken until five days after I was exposed. Now, when I was very graciously asked to leave the courthouse on Friday, I, I immediately, immediately called my doctor's, doctor's office. I spoke and had a telehealth um, conversation with my doctor about the circumstances and about um, about what was going on. And she ordered for me to go and do a rapid COVID test, which I did at my doctor's office. It wasn't like going to as one of my employees called it a doc in a box. It, it was my medical provider. Um, and I got a negative test result that day. Um, but as I stand here in my barn right now at about 930 in the morning, I'm, I'm working remotely into it because that's not something that aligns with the protocol of our courthouse. Um, so the problem with that is, number one, I've got a new employee starting today. Um, my, my regional administrator has graciously traveled from two, two and a half hours away to be here with that in a bit, my new employee today and tomorrow. Um, but you know, it really just is prompting me to ask the questions, why am I doing what I'm doing? I've got a beautiful property out here. I love my farm. I love having my horses at home, but I'm not able to enjoy it. Um, my husband works hard in his job and works hard to keep the property up. But honestly, 
if I stayed here until we both retired, he would have no quality of life whatsoever because of the toll him keeping this property up takes on him. And so this weekend, I really have done some real soul searching about why am I doing what I'm doing? Um, and why do I, you know, if I've got the capacity to do something different where I can actually protect my husband's health and enjoy, um, enjoy life while pursuing this endeavor in a way that I'm, I'm I, if I'm going to be killing myself, why am I not killing myself for my husband and I, as opposed to an employer? So we spent a lot of time this weekend talking a lot about what we wanted to do and where we wanted to go and how we wanted to do it. And we're really in the very early stages, but I was just encouraged because he's listening and he's entertaining it. And, um, and so, yeah, um, you know, I, I won't give all the details right now because it's something that I'll talk with you about um, as plans develop. But, you know, we're thinking about you know, what are we going to do differently? I need to save my husband's life. I need to make sure that he um, can enjoy retirement when that time comes for him. And um, so I am, um, so there's the retirement piece. I, I'm glad you're here. Glad you can join me on, on our journey of decision making. I'm, a, I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm learning this tech stuff. But this is, this is our property. This is our barn. I got a nice shed row barn. Um, paddock back there, um, pasture, there's room for additional pasture, um, there's our home, it's too big for the two of us, and you can tell just by the mess of my barn, I just don't have the time, I just don't have the time in life right now, so anyway, stay, stay tuned, um, I'll keep you posted on some of the, the journeys and the conversations, and um, hope that you'll you'll plan to join us as we just make these decisions. I'm kind of excited. I'm a little scared. Um, I've got children that are in four different places in the country, and moving from where we are at would move a base, if you will. And so um, the probability of seeing and having kids around is going to be less than what it is right now. We we built this big house so that we would have room if all the family came and had a place to sleep. Well, you know, we've been here 10 years and I've never had all four of my children and their families here at the same time. It's got, it got, I gotta let go of that unrealistic dream. And I'm also worried that if I move from here, that my kids that come to the area once a year, that I'm, I'm, gonna, meet, I'm gonna be losing that because if they have to come here to visit family, Will that reduce the likelihood of um, them coming to see me where we go? Because we're looking at going someplace pretty far away. Um, it, it would be a warm weather all year. Even when it's cold, it's going to be warm. And um, and there'd be some really cool, wonderful things to do in the area. But, um, yeah, just exciting decisions. So I'll keep you posted. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video and then ring the bell icon so that as I post more videos you will um you'll be you'll be notified that that we've we've posted another video so thanks so much talk to you soon have a great day make it a great day it's a Monday um and just live life to the fullest thanks bye